There's the signal. Get ready. Front wheel drive, turbocharged, two litres off at racing, and it's Girolami has made the jump. The world TCR star has got it rolling with that Honda Civic Type R for the third time in a row, and it's a great jump from Tony Delberto. His teammates up to second, Tanda back to third, then James Moffat, then Will Brown and Aaron Cameron. They all make it through turn one. They all look a bit more controlled this time around. Great start for Tony Dalberto. Up to second position. Couple of cars scattering across the top of the kerb, including Liam McAdam. But this is the turnaround that Tony D's been looking for. Spin and up, spinner Brown, in the background. Brown. Brown. He's in the wall. The championship leader off the road. Lost it on cold tyres. There was no contact there. He'd already made ground on Dylan O'Keefe. He's got to get it going. He's got to get it going. Now... Next question, is there damage to the rear of the car? Let's keep an eye on that. Back straight, Girolami leads, Delberto next, then Garth up. Dylan O'Keefe had lost spots to Will Brown. Now he's got spots back on the Hyundai that is down at the tail of the field as Tanda puts the pressure on Delberto. Wow, so the pressure now goes back to the 21-year-old from Toowoomba who will have to charge back through the field. We pan back to the last few cars at the back of this field, including Alexandra Whitley, who was laid down onto the grid aboard that number 35 car. Dalberto, Tanda, second and third as they come off the final turn to complete the first lap. But Nesta Girolami leads by 1.5 seconds at the end of lap one. He's the king of cold tyres, and he's often sprinting 1.6 seconds, leaving the rest to fight amongst themselves. Bright and Moffat arguing over road. Aaron Cameron in front is already in position number four in that number two Volkswagen Golf GTI. Now Bright tries to slip back down the inside. Moffat in too deep. Couldn't control the Renault. And that's Bryce Forward, the Super 2 Series leader, who pounces in that Holden Astra, who had contact with Nathan Morecambe in the last race. I'll tell you what, we, we spoke to him before this race, before the break. He put his hand in the air and went, no, my bad, I'm really sorry. No doubt Nathan was upset with him, but he did put his hand up in the air and say, that's my mistake. Down the back straight we go, side by side, Heimgartner and Moffat. And Will Brown is 12 seconds away from Alexandra Whitley and 20 seconds away from the leaders as Heimgartner stays side by side. Will he get the job done as Tanda has now gone ahead of Dalberto? The answer to my question is yes. You ask questions, you get positive responses, <laughs> don't you? That'll be a first. Well, <laughs> the two Alphas there are in the background. They're fighting with Liam McAdam in that Audi that set the fastest sector earlier on but now it's Bryce Fullwood who's actually creating a bit of pace in that 62 Astra. Replay of the start, Girolami from the pole, gone. Galberto down the outside from the second row of the grid. That's where he managed to get by Garth Tander. Oh, off the Audi on that long run down at turn one. And Girolami just to be sure covering off the inside line. Great start for Galberto after a troublesome start to the weekend. Now finds himself inside that top three. A couple of cars forced out wide or forced themselves out wide more so across the top of that bitumen hard stand. But this is the moment we want to talk about. There's Will Brown and just cold tyres unloads the Hyundai, backs into the wall and finds himself 14th now. On board with the series leader. He was wide and wild with the rear tyres cold and watch how much curve he takes at turn two. This triggers it. He already had the rear dancing. He got the curve, he got the other curve gone. Light touch on the wall. He's back to 14th place in the race. He's 18 seconds away from the lead and he's seven seconds away from the next position. Delberto's fading back towards Aaron Cameron. Tanda's taken off and started the chase of Nestor Girolami. 1.4 seconds Garth needs to find to get up there and run with a guy who's won in TCR this year in the background off the road. That's Dylan O'Keefe in the alpha. So Brown has handballed some points to O'Keefe. He's handballing them back. So it's even now. We'll drop him down towards Brown territory. They come through to complete another lap here and start the fourth. Puts Moffat up into sixth position. And O'Keefe drops down to 13th. So this is on still for the series. Remember, there's more points on the line, Matt, in the last race. It's worth 50. The others are worth 40 to win. So running around where they are, Brown, one spot in front of O'Keefe. That'll get the job done. That's all he needs. Look at this, Bright trying to put a move on Aaron Cameron, the battle of the golfs. And Brighty's got the job done. Forward's coming for the ride too. Onto the back straight. Jason Bright through to P4. The 2006 Sandown 500 winner. Back then it was in a Falcon. Now he's in a Golf GDI and he's got to cover off. Bryce Forward, the Astra. He's going to go loud and proud. Round the outside at the top of the hill. This is big, big stuff. And he's got it done. But he did cut through there. He took the option. 
to cut the circuit there and put the car over the other side of that curve. Good move, nonetheless. He now sets sail for Tony D'Alberto. Bright has now got his hands full with Aaron Cameron and Andre Heimgartner just behind. So down to turn 10, 11 and 12. So take a look at what happened to Dylan O'Keefe here. Down at turn number nine in car nine. And the Alpha lucky to get away with this one. That could have been game over very easily. That's the same sand trap that claimed Nathan Morecambe after he was put off the road in the previous race. Girolami leads, Tanders hunting. Garth is the fastest car on the road. The Audi's got the margin to 0.9 of a second. We're looking here at Heimgartner, position number seven. There's the silver Audi. He's hunting, he's chasing that Honda. As now Heimgartner looks to put a move on Aaron Cameron in the fight for position six. Of course, Heimgartner, supercars driver for Kelly Racing in their Nissan Altima program. Podium finisher this year. At Phillip Island, he and Bryce Fullwood will team up together for the Supercar Enduros. They're at Bathurst in a few weeks' time, and Bryce is trying to win the Super 2 Series as Heimgartner now has got the Astra down the inside on the Golf GTI. There's the margin between the lead. The Honda, the Audi, the Civic of Delberto's next, and Fullwood is the big mover. This Astra, remember, he got a drive-through penalty in the last race for contact with Nathan Morecambe. These Astras are hooked up. And still finished in ninth position, his best result so far in the series. He's right on the back of Tony D'Alberto. Meantime, Will Brown has smashed the lap record by seven tenths of a second. He's still in 13th as he tries to put the margin on Dylan O'Keefe and keep that series from being decided the next round. And now it's been annihilated by Nesta Girolami, who goes 114.973. The gap is one second. Down to turn number one is D'Alberto, forward and bright. Top two clearing away. The fight for the final podium position is on. Tony D'Alberto has been a contender all year in this number 50 Honda, representing 50 years of Honda in Australia. And he knows he's vulnerable because he covers on forward, who is looking to make a dive onto the back straight. Heimgarten is in the mix. Cameron's still there as well. Margin back to the alpha of Jordan Cox. Then it's James Moffat's Renault. And now it's a fight between the Golf and the Astra. Heimgarten gets the spot on Bright down the back straight and you'll notice if you're a long time viewer here at Sandown big change over the S's this year that wall's been moved back with a lot of earthworks here for the Melbourne Racing Club it opens it up there the wall is not as close as it's been over so many years over the top of the S's which opens up some room if anyone makes a mistake Saying two people will be frustrated about that change. It's those guys in the double-decker buses to <laughs> come here for the 500 they've been around for years haven't they things. <laughs> so through they come Lap number seven, Car Sales TCR Australia, the final race of the weekend. The final round comes up in November at the Ben Motorsport Park in South Australia. And now Will Brown responds with another fastest lap. He's up ahead of Alexandra Whitley, so it's a car in between he. In fact, he's got ahead of McAdam as well on that previous lap. And there, just a couple of extra points just to seal the deal and make sure that he's in that spot. I think he's got pace. Nathan Morecambe, his teammates, next on his list, so they won't fight one another. And he's in front comfortably of Dylan O'Keefe. That's the battle for the series. This is the battle for the podium in the third race in round six. What a season it's been. This first year of car sales, TCR Australia, this worldwide platform coming to this end of the world. It's also heading to New Zealand next year with a Kiwi series. So expect the Kiwis to come over and invade our series and likewise it to go the other way. Tanda's keeping the pressure on Girolami. He's taken some time away in the first sector this time around. And then it's this great fight. The Honda Civic Type R, these cars are put together by Jazz Motorsport in Italy for Honda. And behind you've got the Holden Astras that races Opals overseas, put together by the Lubna team in Germany. Todd Kelly went to Germany in preparation for this program to source these cars. Jason Bryan in the background of the Volkswagen Golf. That car was sourced from the Asian series where it won at Sepang in Malaysia earlier in the year. And then it went, it, won, it went and won our first race at Sydney Motorsport Park. Teammates here fighting one another. Fullwood and Heimgarten are lining up for a move on Tony Delberto, who has been on the podium this year three times, but hasn't had a win. He's been there or thereabouts, but just not quite enough to get that number one trophy. It's going to be a long 13 laps for Delberto to hold back what is now three cars behind him here. Lap eight of 20. The Honda Civic covers off the Holden Astra. Behind them is Heimgartner. Next to the Astra is heading down the back straight on the eighth lap. Jason Bright starting the claw in this group of cars as well as Aaron Cameron. On Nesta Girolami's gap is less than one second here. This could be good for inter-team relations at Kelly Racing. The two Astra drivers are running right together. They're going to race one another really hard. 
They're co-drivers for the supercar Enduros. Andre, of course, is the full-time regular. Bryce is the guy stepping in to co-steer at Bathurst and Gold Coast and back here at Sandown for the 500, which is in November this year. But right now, they need to gang up together and attack the Honda. Don't fight one another. Fight the guy in the Civic. And look at the guy looming in the background of the shot here very soon. It's Jordan Cox. He's inside the top ten. And he wasn't happy before. No. I, I know he got an apology earlier on from Heimgartner, but he was not happy. And the back of that Alpha has got all sorts of scrapes and bumps and marks. Just about everybody had a go at that car in the last race. Bit of debris on the circuit too, being scooped up by the Honda. So Cox back into eighth position now as this race spices up on the exit of turn number one. You'll see the Alpha. There he was in the background, that shot for a split second. So from outside the top 10 is eighth. Will Brown is now into 10th position. There is now three cars between himself and Dylan O'Keefe, who still runs in 14th position, approaching the half race distance mark in race three of Car Sales TCR Australia. And just watching this battle and the way that it's ebbed and flowed, can't help but look at Tony Delberta. He's a guy with huge experience now. Heimgartner closing, having a look at his teammate over the back of the hill. There's Tanda, he's edging away. He's getting closer and closer closer to that race leading Honda. I was talking about Tony Delberto. For so many years he was full-time in the Supercars Championship. He's not full-time anymore. Loving his motor racing, doing some GTs. He's endurance co-driving for Fabian Coulthard and they really highly rate him at DJR Team Penske. And he's been great for the wall racing program. This guy is great for any program. Garth Tander with Melbourne Performance Centre in the Audi. Eight tenths at the line. That time at 115.2, Girolami a 115.1, Delberto 115.1. It is really tight between all of these cars. They're all very different. They're built to the same rules platform and generating serious pace. We're on board with Tanda, the 2016 Sandown 500 winner. And this fight continues. Delberto is doing all he needs to hang on to this final spot on the podium. Emma? Guys, Liam McAdam is just coming into pit lane. I've been listening to Adam DeBore, who's been on the radio with him. All he can hear at this stage is that he's a bit uncomfortable, so we're just checking the issue now. So we might get some more on what's happened with the number 97 Audi a little later on. I'm getting a look at the game down the end of the back straight, showing the nose before they press the hill. Tanda here has made margin that, but he hasn't been able to make much more. It's line ball stuff. The sectors are so close between the Honda and the Audi. There is Adam DeBore. Liam McAdam in for another weekend in this Audi. He drove at Winton. This is the car that Garth Tanner actually drove earlier yeah. on in the year. One at the Ben Motorsport Park at the wheel of this one. So McAdam will go a lap down here in this race. Lap 11 of 20. The cap sits at just under one second here. Several cars on the record and now a new lap record for Andre Heimgartner. 114 878 as he pulls out to make the move. Down at turn number one on his Kelly Racing teammate. Access denied here. And he'll have to wait another lap aboard that triple seven. If he breaks the lap record, stuck underneath the rear wing of another car. Yeah. Imagine what he does if he can get a toe and get past it. The two Astros running in P4, P5. Back on board here with Will Brown. And this is his teammate Nathan Morecambe up in front. Surely he's not going to make this difficult. Well, that's one way to let your teammate through. Ooh. Run off the road. Just rejoined. Left hand side. So Brown finds himself 10th. His teammate is now 11th. Heimgartner this time down the inside and gets the job done through the left hander. So the triple seven moves up into fourth position and starts the chase on Tony Dalberto. Well, his wall racing teammate continues to lead this race. Nesta Duralami. The gap is seven tenths of a second. Would you believe it? For all the pace that he's shown this year, he's qualified on the front row the last two rounds. Andre Heimgartner has not finished on the podium this year. In fact, he's not finished higher than P5. He's had cars that have broken down. He's had engine dramas. He's had all sorts between the Subaru WRX and the Astra. Let's see now if he can get to the podium for the first time this year in this category as Tanda keeps the pressure on. Six tenths. He got four tenths last time around. We've got a motor race at Sandown and Garth Tanda is defending the honour for Australia in the car sales TCR Australia series. He's closing in on a guy who has got great credentials. He's been a race winner this year in the World TCR series. This is heating up, Jack at Sandown. Tanda is on the move. Yeah, down here in the Cali Racing Garage with Dylan Talabani. Dylan, you're engineering on uh, Andre Heimgartner this weekend, but you're also engineering him in the supercar. Bryce and uh, Andre got to drive together later on in the year. How's all that going? That's good. This is great training for them. 
really good training for them. They're getting along well, and uh, they both need the same things from these cars and and the supercar as well. So it's uh, it's a really good training exercise for myself and for Nathan. How are you finding it? It looks like you found some speed in these Holden Astros. Yeah, yeah. No, the car's good. Once you get them in the window, they're pretty good, pretty strong. We just uh, need good starts and good restarts. Good stuff, mate. All the best for the rest of the race. As we see, Alexandra Whitley slowing down on the front straight away. Yeah, Jack, and she's just pulled up on the run towards turn one to driver's left, hut up against the Armco next to the horse racing circuit. She's well out of the way there and well off the racing line, but let's see what race control decides to do. That's Heimgartner making a lunge down the inside at turn one. Now with the yellow flags there because of that car parked on the side of the road. There was a green in the background, but was there a yellow at the start of the sector when he made the move? That's what we need to find out. Suddenly got busy, didn't it, down at turn number one. Well, Brown lowers the lap record once again. It's never over until it's over, Matt. This is what happened to Alexandra Whitley's car. Hard to know exactly what's going on with that one, but they've, they've shut the Golf GTI down. And the Kiwi-based Aussie is out of this one. Heimgartner is through to the podium. P3, the Kiwi. So it's Argentina, Australia, New Zealand. One, two, three. Delberto next from forward. There's Bright, who's kind of got back in the mix. Jordan Cox has got a move on Aaron Cameron for seventh and eighth. And we're hearing from the lane that it's engine dramas for Whitley in the Volkswagen Golf GTI that's taken car number 35, the Actron Air car, out of the race. Yeah, coming from the centre of the car, it's pretty ominous, wasn't it? That car now stopped on the left-hand side. Heimgartner, now third, four and a half seconds behind Tanda, who's the second behind Nesta Girolami. We're heading towards the closing stages of the final race of car sales TCR Australia. Heimgartner puts a gap already on Dalberto, who's now got forward for company just behind, and Jason Bryant engages. And here comes Jordan Cox in the background now, taking Aaron Cameron with him, as Will Brown just continues to break the lap record, lap after lap here. He's up to ninth position and looking good for the series. 114.68 in a front-wheel drive, two-litre turbocharged car. That's honking on a track like this. 3.1 kilometres with all these long, straight bits of bitumen. Heimgartner's got away from the Honda. He's broken the toe. Here are our top two, over the top of Dandenong Road, from the S's, running parallel to Dandenong Road itself. Remember for a time, we ran on the infield section here at Sandown to get the world sports cars here to extend the length. And for five years, the drivers had to turn hard left in the hairpin at the end of the back straight. And since we went back to this more original 3.1K faster layout. It is one of the famous ones on the Australian motorsport calendar. End of 14 laps. Girolami leads by seven tenths to Garth Tander. Heimgartner and Delberto have just set their fastest laps of the race in third and fourth. Forwards with them. Then Brighton Cox. Cameron. There he is in the Volkswagen. There's Whitley's car pulled over. They've managed to get that car to the outside of turn one. And we're racing on. Race control are going to leave this one run green. That car's out of the way. So good for the likes of Heimgartner here and Tony Dalberto, who had a quiet weekend up to this point. They have a strong result here today still with six laps remaining. Jason Bright, the quickest car on the circuit now. Will Brown still stays in ninth. His series rival is 12th right now. So two cars in between. Just needs to keep it on the island with five and a half remaining. And this is a result that Kelly Racing desperately deserve. They've had a rough year in supercars. They've had a rough year in TCR. Those Subarus were fast on occasion, but they were, they were fragile. They've broken a little bit. They've been learning these Astras and getting them going faster and faster. There's no doubt Heimgartner was going to get a result somewhere, provided that the car managed to keep going and stay underneath him. They really would love this result. They deserve it. Todd Kelly has put so much into this TCR program and Matty House and their whole team. They thoroughly deserve this. Five laps to go. He's got the pace to stay away from the Honda. And speaking of Hondas, Girolami's got the pace as he looks to clean sweep this weekend, which we haven't seen anybody do that in this series so far this year. It's a bit more history to be created yet. And that's still five laps away. Tanda running second. Sandown bathed in sunshine for the time being. Shush. I said steady. for the time being. Yeah, I've learned steady. my lesson here over the steady. years. We've, we've got an S5000 race <laughs> exactly. to come here, mate. <laughs> <laughs> They've got a great margin on Heimgartner, who Dalberto hasn't really lost touch with, has he? The gap less than half a second between these two. And now Jordan Cox getting closer to the back of Jason Bright. Sixth and seventh on the circuit. 
down towards turn six. Closing stages of this race. Here comes the leaders. And Tanda Closer, his third, fourth and fifth. This is handy for Tony Delberto. A fourth place will give him a big chunk of points to hunt Dylan O'Keefe for runner-up in the series with three races and one round to go. On board with Tanda in the Audi. His car's run by Melbourne Performance Centre, of course, part of the Volkswagen Audi group. So the Audi and the Volkswagen and TCR are on the same engine underneath the bonnet of these cars. You crack open the bonnet, you're probably not sure which car you're looking at if you don't look at the rest of it. But this guy can get up on the wheel. He's not full-time anymore in supercars, but he's got a big role this year. Co-driver to Shane Van Gisbergen of the Red Bull Holden Racing Team. Very good pair of hands to have for 2007. Supercars champ. He's just kept the pressure on here. He's blowing the flag. These Audis were nowhere in qualifying yesterday, Matt. All three were outside the top ten, but Gas being able to race his way forward. It's Nathan Morecambe, teammate to Will Brown. He runs in 11th position while his teammate sits in 9th. Just behind is Liam McAdam, who returned to the circuit. But he's a couple of laps down there aboard that number 97 Audi. They come down towards turn number one. Order unchanged at the top. From the series perspective, Will Brown looks likely to wrap this up in the remaining four laps of this race. He'd be a deserving series champ. I don't think there's too many people who would argue the other way. He's won more races than anyone this year. He's been on the podium plenty more times than anybody else. He's been the fastest car over the course yeah. of the season. He's made some mistakes, but he's got away with them on occasion and been able to get the points that he needed. We're on the run home. A couple of laps to go. And Delberto just got to keep the pressure on here. See if Heimgartner can make a mistake get another couple of points as he fights for that series runner-up position. Bit of a break now for TCR before the final round, two months. But it is a visit to a track that we've been to before, the Ben Motorsport Park in South Australia. So the teams have got data, they've got knowledge of what to expect. Let's see, has Tanda got something left for these last couple of laps to throw this Audi at the Honda Civic? You just have the feeling Girolami's got this one under control. But if there's a bloke, you just don't count out. It's the guy in car three. Absolutely agree. The gap sits at six tenths of a second. Fastest lap of the race. The lap record's been lowered on several occasions here today for Will Brown after that mistake at turn two and three. He sits in ninth position, 17 seconds away. As now Jordan Cox drives around the outside here on Jason Bright, who won't give this up in a hurry. And does the Alpha do it? Yes, he does. Good move from the Sydney Sider. So he moves himself up now into sixth position. Go down the pit lane. I caught uh, team manager of HMO, Scott Fulcher, calculating some numbers because obviously the series is on the line here. He could provisionally, potentially wrap up the series after this race. But uh, did you have the chat before this weekend to stay safe out there? Absolutely. It's a, there's a lot riding on this. It'd be great to win the, uh, the first TCR Australian Championship. So the, the, the aim for this weekend was absolutely just to go out Stay clean, hasn't really been so clean this weekend. Um, but so far it's looking good from the points perspective. Thanks Scott, can I just have a quick look at those numbers now too? <laughs> Nervous times, an HMO customer racing, or Jordan Cox breaks the lap record now. Everybody from first to 11th has had an attack at breaking the lap record here today. You're in car with Will Brown, heading down to turn two and three. Ninth position after spinning right there on the first lap now has his eyes on the major prize in season 2019. It'll be one lap to go. It's down to turn number nine comes Nesta Girolami. Garth Tander in second. He stayed there. He shadowed the Argentinian all day long here at Sandown. Off forward runs off the track at turn nine. This will give Jordan Cox a free kick. So the Alpha moves up another position. Bryce Ford will slot back in behind and Jason Bright lines up for a piece of the action. The leader comes around, Bright just forces his way around there. Vintage Jason Bright at the final turn. And the task force Volkswagen Golf moves up another spot. And just like that, Forward finds himself in P7. Final lap of the race, final lap of the weekend for car sales TCR Australia. The S5000s follow this on SBS, so stick around for that. A history making weekend here at Sandown. Garth Tander, who riding car with on the final lap. I think this is about as far as he'll get towards the front of Nesta Girolami. He's been a class act since arriving here last week. Never saw a Sandown Raceway. And came out very quick in practice on Friday. 
It's down to the bottom, that's still no Keith. He won't go a lap down in this race. In the final couple of corners. Girolami, two turns remaining. Heimgartner will get his best result after a DNF yesterday. That's the list he's had all season long. So this will be positivity for the Kelly Racing team. But out the final term, it's been nothing but the Argentinian all weekend. And the broom is out. It's a clean sweep of the weekend here at Sandown. Nesta Girolami wins race three of Car Sales TCR Australia. Garth Tander will be second. Heimgartner third. And off the track goes Jordan Cox. Another sensational finish here. And the seven off the track, out of business. And that's at the top of turn number three for Will Brown. Has crossed the line in the meantime to finish in eighth position. And that is enough to be Car Sales TCR Australia champion for the first ever year. Well done to the HMO customer racing team. He probably did want to win, but nonetheless, P8 will be enough to wrap up the series. But Nesta Girolami is your winner. Clean sweep of the weekend. Races one, two, and three. And Astron Tech pole position as well. Garth Tander second. Heimgartner third. D'Alberto was fourth. Back to Bright. Forward. Aaron Cameron. Will Brown now the series champion. Eighth position. James Moffat. And Nathan Morecambe ensures both HMO customer racing cars inside the top 10. The sensation of the race was Jordan Cox retiring on the final lap. With Dylan O'Keefe, Liam McAdam and Alexandra Whitley of the 14 cars that survived in race number three. Well, the Argentinian, what a drive since he arrived here during the week. He cleans up. We'll catch up with him right off the break from Sandown. Well, what a day it's been. And why not give the car a big hug, Mr. Girolami? Pole position, three race wins here over the weekend. Very friendly Argentinian driver on his debut in the series. Picks up the win here today. But this is the guy that wraps up the inaugural Car Sales TCR Australia Series. A 21-year-old from Toowoomba adds it to the list of Australian titles he's won. At noons, it's happy scenes down there in Victory Lane. There's plenty of things to be happy about for many of the teams and drivers and for Nestor Girolami, a win in the third and final race. You are the first driver in our inaugural series to clean sweep the weekend. Fastest in every session and you won every race. But that one was not as easy. Garth Tander in the Audi made you work for that one. What a crazy weekend. <laughs> first of all, I want to congratulate Will Brown for, he, for being a champion in the first season of TCR Australia. He did a very fantastic season so far, and for us it was a crazy weekend. We, we won all. What, uh, what can I say? I have no words. Uh, congratulate all the team. I think uh, they have a really, really good team. David Walt for, for being uh, confident with me. He trusted me at the, at the last time. In, in, I received a last call uh, at the last minute, and I decided to take it. And now I'm so proud of, of the team. So, Thank you for all day four. Thank you for, for inviting me. And thank you for all the support that I received for TCR Australia. It was an amazing weekend. I really enjoy Australia. So I hope to come back. We would love to have you back, Nestor. We have a first place trophy for you. Peter Heatley from Michelin is here to make the presentation. He's got a fair collection of these to take with him home on the plane. We might have to see if he's available in November to come to the final round at the Ben Motorsport Park. Let's come around to the other side and see our runner up, Garth Tander, who made a race of it today. Let's have a talk to the big fella. GT, that was a great race. You made a real race of that and went and hunted that Honda and you nearly got there too. Yeah, I wanted to beat him and I'm sure Nesta didn't want to get beaten by an Aussie bloke that normally drives rear wheel drive cars. So uh, it was a great race. Um, you know, the Honda's off the line, Omega, like Tony got me off the line and um, managed to get him and then tried to chase him down and got to the back of Nesta but couldn't do anything with him. So um, considering where we were in practice one on Friday to where we are Sunday afternoon race three, it's an awesome effort by the guys. Can't tell. thank the Audi Sport Australia guys more the work they put in over this weekend to make this car competitive with a guy that races WTCR in that car. Uh, it's a real credit to them. Are you free in the middle of November for our last round of the bend? Well, I'm meant to be on TV, so um, I will see. I mean, I'm in, I enjoy jumping in the WTCR car, but um, I've got commitment somewhere else. All right, we'll find someone else for that silver Rowdy. Great to have Garth Tander back with us in the series. Andre Heimgartner in the Astra. One heck of a race. It's been a tough, tough year for you and Kelly Racing. You're on the podium here, but tell me about the move at Turn 1. Was there a yellow flag out when you made the move for third place? Um, yeah, from my point of view, I didn't see any yellow flag there. I was driving down there trying to look for a yellow flag because I saw a slowed down car, but um, I could only see a green flag in the distance and no yellow flag where I was because I was sort of up 
um, and behind um, Tony. I may have missed it, I'm not sure, but um, yeah, from my point of view, I don't think there was a yellow flag to be seen, and I didn't pass him until I was at the apex of the corner anyway, where there was a green flag. But um, yeah, well, at least we'll get to keep, keep get the trophy here, get all the photos, and then uh, yeah, whether we keep it or not, it's a different story, wait and see. We will give you a trophy. Peter Heatley's here from Michelin with the third place trophy for Andre Heimgartner. So Honda, Audi and Astra on the podium in race three here at Sandown. Will Brown, you and HMO Customer Racing provisionally are the winners of the inaugural car sales TCR Australia. How good does that feel? Yeah, it feels awesome. It's a bit bittersweet after fencing it on lap one by myself. But, uh, you know, we fought back and was able to pass a few people and get there. So can't thank the boys from HMO Customer Racing enough. And uh, like you said, provisional uh, Australian champion. But uh, hopefully we don't take anyone out the last one and get a penalty. So we'll be right. <laughs> Mate, talk us through the race. Obviously, that's the highs and lows, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I got a really good start. Didn't use the uh, launch control this time and then just absolutely just put in the fence by myself. So that was disappointing. But uh, got her back out and uh, we raced to and finished about seventh or something. So... Great fun, didn't know if we got the championship or not, but great to have a bit of fun at the last round. There'll only be one ever first winner, so credit to you and the team, you enjoyed the season? Yeah, I've enjoyed it, loved it. Everyone's done such a good job at uh, HMO Custom Racing, but TCR Australia themselves have done a great job to put this on, the inaugural you know, season, and uh, they've done a fantastic job, so can't thank them enough either. Mate, no champagne for you, you've got to jump in that S5000 now. Yeah, better not have a beer. <laughs> Too easy. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Great, guys. We'll put the victory celebrations on ice just for a few more hours. Anyway, Will Brown here's the suit up because guess what? The highly anticipated S5000s are getting set. We come back right after the break here from Sandown Raceway. In November.